<laughs> he plays for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Right up the gut. Huge hole for Anthony Taylor. First down, Bulls. So Miami comes out and throws a haymaker on its first play, and then big gainer for Taylor to begin things for UB. An excellent job by Trevor Sells and Andre Davis, the interior of that offensive line, to give such a gaping hole for Anthony to run right through. Nice run by Anthony. Carry here today, 18 yards. Here comes Taylor again. This time the Red Hawks are there, dropping for no gain. Last week, back to the ground and back to their workhorse for Taylor. Breaking tackles inside the 15, dragged down at the eight yard line. Another Buffalo first down. And just as, as important, Doug, right here, the holes are there for you. Anthony Taylor makes a great read and also makes someone miss. And in the open field, he's dangerous, and you see it right there. But more importantly, that does not take it to dominate on the inside. 25 yard carry. Inside the 10, back to Taylor. He's a north and south kind of guy. Doesn't have the breakaway speed, but he lowers his shoulder and he can really make things happen between the tackles. And that's his paperwork. He brought along his mom, his dad, all three sisters, his grandma and grandpa. Everybody in that family was invested in Joe Licata coming to UB and becoming the quarterback. That you get local talent to come to your university. Got a hands off. Taylor again, finding holes up front. We haven't talked about taxing mentally and physically on the defense. They continue to open up big holes for Anthony Taylor, who comes again this time. No hole there. Tackled for a loss. Doug, that's the second time we've seen. On reception from Lakata, the longest pass play in UB program history. Working his way through the tackles again is Anthony Taylor for another Buffalo first down. <laughs> Anthony Taylor is running like a man on a mission. He used legs and his refusal to go down. That's what type of commitment you need. You see right here, could be tapping in the backfield, but refuses to go down, spins out of play, keeps his legs turning. On the ground for Anthony Taylor, the junior. And once again, he emerges from the pack with another UB first down. And at some point in time, defense has allowed Buffalo to sustain two long drives. Led by the man with the football right now, Anthony Taylor. Who has stopped for their game. Formation backfield. To Taylor following his fullback. And again, that Miami front line was ready for him. Looks like Coach Palowski, defensive coordinator for the Red Hawks, gave his defensive line a pep talk because this is like a different unit than the first few seconds. See it? Mismatch exploited. And then back to the ground they go. Three yard gain for Anthony Taylor. And when you've got somebody who can. Run the football. He takes over just inside its own 10-yard line. Got it. Plenty of time. And now throws it away. Bring up second down and 10. For a total of 120 yards. Across the five for maybe a gain of two. Anthony Taylor. Taylor's not the biggest guy. Only Now third down and seven. Running play again, Taylor picks his way for a Buffalo first down. So you see where's number one, he's a young man of high character, he's formed the number 54. So he wears one on game day, and he does it very well, but uh, the reason in practice he wears 54 is that he is honoring his high school NCAA. They're the only four interceptions for this entire Miami team this season. Taylor stops short of the line of scrimmage, and again the Miami defense holds against UB. That says something. Four games. After a gain of four, second down and six. It's Taylor. Waits for the hole to present itself. Able to shoot through for another three yards. One of the cool things about football. Brian Kelly. Taylor to the 40. Carries a defender to the 43-yard line and another good, solid first down pickup. Allowing the big plays to Miami. And getting away from this type of offensive production. And Buffalo saw what looked like was going to be the ball to Anthony Taylor. What does he do? Pick up first downs. Nancy Taylor goes over the century mark already with 105 yards and counting. Picks up one, maybe two more. No pace to go for 200. Not that way, though. Certainly not. My goodness. Mitch Winters. 
with the big hit. Junior from Michigan. Instant point off the football field, and you do not want to be in meeting rooms on Monday. <laughs> Well, there's the force feeding of Anthony Taylor right down the throat of the Miami defense. And <laughs> go back to your bread and butter. Draw play, allow Anthony Taylor to diagnose through the holes and get some positive yards. He has a great job of nearly picking up a first down. See right there, nice move in over field, backfield, the cutback. And he used to show his versatility, able to throw the football. He gave up his potentially redshirt freshman year as the Bulls get another touchdown it's Taylor to pull the Bulls back within a point well they started the drive with Taylor and end the drive with Taylor that's right feed the beast of Taylor because the young man has been running effectively and this is one of the few times that we saw him with success on the outside but he's showing that he can run in all angles and all levels as he gets into the second level and explodes to the end to pick up that touchdown great job right there running through Marshall Taylor in the New York Went to Williamsville South High School where he was a basketball and football star. Anthony Taylor for a uh, three-yard gain on first down. Joe might want to tell somebody to look for accurate pass. Handed off on first down. Across the 45-yard line, down to the 43-yard line by Anthony Taylor. Buffalo down a point. Makata hands to Taylor. Runs over the defender and gets inside the five-yard line. He will think differently about it. Watch as Taylor explodes into Drell Jones. Man. Bam! That is what you call playing a physical brand of... Here comes Taylor again. Patiently looking for the hole. Rides the wave. Touchdown, Buffalo! Taylor puts on display what running backs are taught to do. Be patient. As you see it on display right here, that stay patient, don't overcommit, run through a tackle or two, and allow the push of the offensive line to help you get into the end zone. Yeah, kept those feet moving, and he's got himself the second touchdown. And they go that way. Taylor breaks through the hole for a first down to the 45, carrying tacklers to the 41-yard line. 80 yards to go as opposed to 65. A nice run lead on the part of Taylor. Sees no opening to his left side. Cuts back in to the middle of the football field. Picks up positive yard on the offense of the receivers. That's what they saw on tape versus Baylor. Taylor trying to finish off that drive. And there seems to be no dispute this time. That's a Buffalo touchdown. So just as quickly as they took the points off the board, the Bulls put them right back on. Taylor gets another touchdown. Does it the right way. Patience line on those hogs up front. It's out there. You see right here, low man wins and whoever has push. And look at the blue jerseys surging forward with the red jerseys coming backwards. You cannot have that and expect to keep a guy out of the end zone, especially and here in Western New York. And what's been a very entertaining back and forth football game. Anthony Taylor has 200 yards in his sights and as a team. And then pass off of that. Here comes Taylor again. Gets back to maybe a two-yard rush. Options here as a sophomore for Joe Licata. Eight different men of top passes here today. Another long run. Still on his feet is Taylor. Inside the 25-yard line. <laughs> Anthony Taylor's a man of the mission, and that mission is to go past 200 yards. You can, his way of running the football in that it's a physical brand. You see the hole, I explode through the hole. My office behind me give me the things necessary to get through the hole, and then I'm going to run through the finish. It's going to take more than one guy. Touchdowns already. The last time Buffalo had a 200 yard rusher in a game, no surprise. Their all time leading rusher, Brandon Oliver, last year against Ohio went for 249. Just kill the clock there rather than make a, an ill-advised pass. If you keep trending in the right direction, you'll have situations where it'll be a must-see game and ticket to watch these Bulls play. They put on the show today. Still a lot of football left to play. Very impressive what you've seen. Taylor. Hit at the 50 and driven back. 
still they're only up by eight. They got to take care of this football. Well, that might get Taylor the four yards he needed to get to 200. It looks to 21. That'll happen when you've got a runner like Taylor going for his fourth touchdown. Pushed out of bounds at the seven-yard line. 